and welcome to another Collector's Channel Minute. Hey John, you're the king of all the nautical stuff here at Brimfield. You seem to have more stuff than anyone. What are these things and why does anybody want them? These are Japanese uh, longline floats or tuna floats and they come from Japan, but most of them are actually washed up beach combed on the various shores of uh, the Pacific coast of North America and certainly throughout Japan and also through Korea and China. Are they uh, just for decorative purposes or do people actually invest in these as uh, collectible? They actually do invest in this colorful group. They don't necessarily invest, they want more for color, but something like this here, this is an extremely rare item that uh, no one ever sees. They came out of South Korea, these are called binaries, and they are uh, two balls fused together and someone yesterday bought six to have as an investment. They said, we're buying them. They're in the books, people have seen them, but they never get them. They're either in collections or in museums. What era were they made? Uh, this is a two-piece mold, uh, blown, hand-blown, blobbed together, probably 1940. 1940, so yeah. that's really interesting stuff. Before the war. So on a, on a rarity scale, those are the rarest. They're the nine or a 10 on right, desirability. Right. Do they make them in colors too or just the Nope, that would be the most working balls, as I say, um, are just in the simplest, cheapest glass, green. Anything in cobalt blue, you'd have to question, uh, who can afford cobalt blue right. for a ball? And these break, they don't care, they go to the next one. They blow them by, by hand, it takes sand, it takes lime, it takes heat. Yep, so they're common. Well, over in Japan, they were really common. Now at this point, they really are disappearing because people are going over there and buying them and they're not really making them anymore. They really don't make them anymore. I think if they did, they'd be making them for decorative purposes and they're a different animal. They're lightweight, they're pretty colors. They're, they're like at the Pier 1 import. There you go, exactly, junk. exactly. Don't buy junk, buy good stuff. Well, I think one of these, uh, you know, I, I have them. I collect this. One of the few things I collect out of everything I do collect, these I really enjoy. So what's your rarest color? The okay. rarest color. It's real, authentic. You know, something that was be made naturally. Hey, red. There are some Japanese red balls that come out, and they were used for octopus jigs. And they like the red, the octopus. We don't know what the octopus sees, but he likes red. Wow. So they capture not just tuna, but octopus. Really? Well, this holds an octopus jig. They put a ball on it. They they fasten it with all this rope. The jig sink, have weights on the jig. The jig sink, sinks down to a certain level. They keep a line on it. The octopus goes after the jig, but the ball keeps the jig upright. And it has prongs, and unfortunately it prongs itself. And, hey, Calamari! Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, John. That's very cool. Well, appreciate that. That's another Collector's Channel Minute. Thanks. Stick around.